Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a very different video, but it's also a very personal video. I want to share with you uh, inside me having a bad day. You see, last Saturday morning, I woke up and it was a beautiful sunny day. It was the start of the weekend and I had my family, my happy, healthy family beside me. However, I didn't feel great. I felt a darkness creeping over me and getting increasingly powerful and increasingly heavy. Now, I don't know why, but I decided to document my day and what I did to try and move through this heaviness and this darkness. And I have documented the whole day to share with you what it was like. So at the end of this video, you'll see what I learned from doing this. And I've made this video and I'm putting it out there to help anyone else that's having a bad day or going through a period or a phase of heaviness or darkness to know that you're not alone. And maybe some of these ideas may help you in some part of your life because I know how hard it is to get through these days. So please watch this video with an open mind and an open heart. And of course, as always, please feel free to share any of my videos or content with anyone you think might benefit from this. So please enjoy this highly personal video. I woke up on a beautiful Saturday morning, but I felt horrible. I felt a thick, heavy fog around me, overwhelmed, anxious, and confused. To have a moment of stillness, I grabbed the girls and put the TV on so they could be distracted by Peter Rabbit whilst I could figure out and try and process my emotions, but it didn't work. And this made me feel worse. I decided to get up and start moving, put a few things away, wipe down the benches and the surfaces. This actually helped because as the clutter and the mess around me reduced, I started to get a clearer idea of why I was feeling so horrible. As the space around me started to seem clearer and more organized, I felt a sense of calmness around me, but I was still exhausted and overwhelmed. I grabbed both the girls because it was time for their nap and we jumped into bed together. Holding them close to me felt a sense of healing to my heart. It was precious and I held onto that feeling. Fortunately, we were all able to sleep together. Tom came home from work and took the girls downstairs to eat some lunch. I still felt miserable, so I decided to restart my day, reset, and I got myself dressed into clean, fresh clothes. This actually felt a little bit better. I then decided to open up all the curtains to allow as much light in as possible. I also opened up all the windows, allowing the fresh air and sunlight come shining through, clearing out my house. I even cleaned my teeth again. I was restarting my day. Even mouthwash. It felt refreshing in my mouth and refreshing to my headspace. I brushed my hair to make myself feel good again. I even put just a little bit of makeup on. Not lots, but just a little bit. I know this sounds superficial, but... It kind of helped me feel good about myself again, even if it was only on the surface. Now that I was feeling a little bit fresher, I decided to go downstairs and join my family for lunch. During lockdown, we started a new family tradition where we have sashimi and seafood together as a family for lunch every Saturday. It's something that's really important to me and I love eating healthy food. After lunch, I grabbed Apple and Giuseppe and we went for a walk in the fresh air and to get more direct sunlight. I came home and decided to play with the dogs, just get down on the ground and give them lots of love and cuddles. And then something funny happened. It was something so simple, but so cute. And I started to properly smile again, even laugh. I grabbed Apple because I wanted to show her how cute it was. And seeing how much she loved seeing her puppy Peppy being so silly and cute with the phone, I just, 
it broke the tension and I kind of felt like I was back to me again. Fragile, but at least back to me again. Tom could see that I was still not feeling very well and he suggested I take a moment to myself and have a hot bath. So I took his advice and I even used this moment to call one of my best friends and see how she was going with everything. And this really helped me start to feel even better. It wasn't long before Apple realized I was missing and decided to come and join me for a bath. Even though my moment of solitude was broken, it felt really special that she wanted to be with me when I was still feeling so flat. Even Giuseppe decided to join in. Actually, it was like he knew something was wrong with me and wanted to be extra close just to keep an eye on me. That night, we all went to bed together really early. And in the morning, I felt better. Not 100%, but better. And this is what I learned. It's okay to not feel okay. We all need to slow down sometime. When we experience uncomfortable emotions, we need to sit through it and move through it because this is where the growth and strength returns. You can restart your day at any time during the day. Lots of little things really do add up and help, but you've got to want to help yourself. Talking to a friend about how you are feeling really helps. But what also helps is listening to how that friend is feeling as well. Sleep is essential. Sleep fixes a lot. And tomorrow can be different. <laughs>